Goal setting in Asana is great because it's it gives you everything you need. It's very flexible. So goal setting is one of the best use cases of Asana generally for anyone uh, if if they're passionate about doing this. And there's there's so much evidence out there that if you if you do set goals, obviously you have more success generally because you have some type of plan. Uh, and so this goal setting is just a great uh, part of Asana. I've found it personally pretty helpful. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you just a few different ways to think about goal setting and marketing yourself. Uh, so here's like three different ideas or things you could create in terms of projects in Asana with 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 kind of your personal uh, strategies, right? So, so one would be your elevator pitch. If you meet someone, you know, out somewhere, and they ask you what you do, and and you know, what do you say? And and even larger than that, um, a lot of people would just would say, maybe wouldn't say very much in, in that situation. Um, you know, we all have families and and backgrounds and those things, so you can incorporate that. Um, but this should be something exciting, something you're passionate about that you can say proudly about yourself. Uh, your target market is your list of people. So so we all have a list, we all have a network, right? Who is your people? Who is your tribe? Who is your um, people you want to be your, in, in your tribe or in your, in your network? Um, and then, you know, kind of key features and key benefits. Uh, what, what process do you do the best compared to anyone? You know, what is your specialty? What unique processes do you have that you can do that no one else can do or that few people can do? And what are, you know, what are the benefits of working with you? And, 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 what, do you, and what do you create? Uh, what are your key features, like, like you're a product, like how would you sell yourself um, is important. And then also the processes and, and the unique, you have to have some skill or you have to have some you know, mechanism to make money or to market yourself. And so, you know, kind of think through what those key processes are and then continue to build on those key processes. And, and, and Asana can be part of that, right? That, that you know, you, you're Asana certified and, and that's part of your key processes. You know how to set up Asana very well. Um, so that, that is, <laughs> has a benefit of the course. And then it, we, we're gonna talk just breaking down a simple way in, in Asana, just based off time to, to track all of these goals very, very easily and all in one place and kind of a repeatable process. So then once you kind of set up these things, what's, what's the great benefit of the, some of these longer term projects is that once you set them up, they, they're there for you and then they're available and, and they're repeatable because um, you can duplicate the projects, you can duplicate you know, tasks, all that. So it's, it's, it is very helpful for these longer term projects. You have a project for 10 years, 10 years of goals in here, right? Um, and then also just think about bucketing goals in different places. You know, Asana is a, is a B2B, you know, tool, right? And, but, but I, I found it personally very helpful for my personal life. And so I think you could, you can use it for, talking about your finances and, and like bucketing goals in different you know places. If we're talking about annual goals, it would be good. It's good to have a, a diverse pool of annual goals, right? I've, I found that myself. If I have too many goals, if I have my top five goals, if, if three of them are all business related and I have a bad year, then is my year, you know, horrible. So I think <laughs> having goals in different buckets is, is, is good and helpful and healthy. So, those are some uh, those are some ideas that we have around goal setting, and, and we'll show and talk more about that in Asana. Okay, let's go over the simple kind of goal setting project. Very very simply, you have your daily goals, right? So these are our next actions. Like what what are we doing? What are we doing today? Right, every day come up. I would say personally, I like to write three core goals. So I could say workout. Um, you know, uh, sales time and um, errands. So, so, so that every day I wake up, I put my those those are my three goals for the day. 
and then I would also do some at potentially other action items, right? Um, you know, weekly, weekly can be helpful to give yourself kind of that, that lead time to accomplish major things. I have trouble kind of keeping weekly goals, but I, I definitely can see how they can be helpful. Monthly is great, right? I, I think I, I definitely like the, you know, the daily projects personally with, with, with the monthly the goals. And, and then, you know, we have our annual goals, life goals. And the, the beautiful thing here, like we said, is that you can just you know, use this almost like a journal where, you know, you, you want to be a certain weight, you want to run, you know, uh, run 100 miles. You can just log this, you know, just like anything else, post updates to yourself, track it, um, do this with your team uh, every year, make them kind of, you know, go through and, and set some type of Asana project with goals and things and they, that they can keep track of. So this is kind of just a basic framework that you can use um, for yourself or for reps in terms of just like goal setting. Um, and yep, that's, that's that part of the lecture.